This section will describe normal operation of the electrical system by showing the sequence of indications associated with applying power to an unpowered aircraft. The battery switch controls power from the battery to the battery bus. With the battery switch in the off position, the hot battery and hot battery transfer buses are powered by the aircraft battery. Moving the battery switch to the guarded on position applies battery power to the battery bus, the static inverter, and the standby horizon. When external power is connected to the aircraft, the external power connected light illuminates on the external power panel. The external power not in use light illuminates when external power is connected but not being used to power the aircraft. In the cockpit, an illuminated AC connected light indicates external power is connected and available. AC voltage and frequency are monitored on the AC voltmeter and frequency meter. The AC meter selector controls the selection of the AC power source displayed on the AC meters. Limitations for AC power are a voltage of 115 plus or minus 5 volts and a frequency of 400 plus or minus 8 cycles per second. The external power switch controls the connection of external power to the sync bus. The ground service position provides power for limited ground service operations by powering the AC transfer bus without powering the sync bus. The battery charger also operates when ground service is selected. With all three bus tie breakers closed, moving the external power switch to on connects power to the sync bus, which distributes power to the main AC buses. The AC amp meter displays the external power or APU electrical load. The maximum external power load is 200 amps. The essential power failure light illuminates whenever the essential AC bus is not powered. This light is battery powered and does not require main power to illuminate. Selection of an essential AC power source is controlled by the essential power source selector. With the number three bus tie breaker closed, rotating the essential power source selector to external power connects external power to the essential AC bus and extinguishes the essential power failure light. DC voltage and amperage is monitored on the DC voltmeter and DC amp meter. The DC meter selector controls the selection of the DC power source displayed on the DC meters. The DC voltmeter displays the DC bus voltage and the DC amp meter displays the DC load of the selected TR. When the battery position is selected, battery voltage is displayed on the DC voltmeter when the battery is powering the hot battery bus and a negative reading on the DC amp meter indicates battery discharge. When the battery charger is powering the hot battery bus, battery charger voltage is displayed on the DC voltmeter and a positive reading on the DC amp meter indicates the battery is charging. The galley power switch controls power to the galleys. CSD oil pressure is monitored by the CSD oil low pressure lights. Prior to engine start, the lights are illuminated the CSD in and rise oil temperatures are monitored on the CSD oil temperature indicators. 
The CSD drive temperature switches determine which CSD oil temperature is displayed on the respective indicator. Selecting in displays on the inner scale the temperature of the oil entering the CSD from the oil cooler. This gives an indication of oil cooler efficiency. Selecting rise displays on the outer scale the temperature difference of the oil entering and exiting the CSD. This gives an indication of CSD workload. The bus tiebreakers control the power flow between the main AC buses and the sync bus. The bus tie lights monitor the position of the bus tie breakers. The lights are extinguished when the bus tie breakers are closed. When generator output is normal, the generator breakers connect the generators to the respective main AC bus. The generator lights monitor the position of the generator breakers. With the generators not operating or the breakers tripped, the lights are illuminated. The field switches provide on-off control of the engine-driven generators. The field lights monitor the status of the fields. The lights are extinguished when the fields are energized. The generator electrical loads are monitored on the KW meters. The KVAR indications and KVAR button are not used by Delta. The APU may be used to supply aircraft power only during ground operations. The APU field switch provides on-off control of the APU generator. The APU field light monitors the status of the APU field. The light is extinguished when the field is closed. The APU generator switch connects or disconnects APU electrical power from the sync bus. The APU generator light monitors the APU generator breaker position. The light is illuminated when the generator breaker is tripped. With the APU operating, generator output is verified by rotating the AC meter selector to APU. With external power connected to the sync bus, prior to closing the APU generator breaker, the electrical load must be below 165 amps. Moving the APU generator switch to close trips external power from the sync bus, extinguishes the APU generator breaker light, trips the external power switch to off, and connects APU power to the sync bus. APU load on the sync bus is displayed on the AC amp meter. Moving the essential power selector to APU places APU power on the essential AC bus. During engine start, when CSD oil pressure reaches a predetermined value, the respective low pressure light extinguishes and the CSD oil temperature indication increases. After all three engines are started, engine-driven generator output is monitored by rotating the AC meter selector switch to the respective generator position. A voltage regulator and frequency load controller automatically controls generator voltage and frequency. Prior to closing the generator breakers, moving the essential power selector to any engine generator position provides power from the respective generator to the essential AC bus. As each position is selected, the essential AC load is displayed on the respective KW meter. The number three generator is the normal operating source for the essential AC bus. Moving a generator switch to close trips APU power from the sync bus, extinguishes the respective generator light, connects engine generator power to its main AC bus and to the sync bus and displays an electrical load on the respective KW meter. The synchronizing lights monitor the phase difference between the power source on the sync bus 
and the selected source on the AC meter switch. The sink lights are extinguished when the power sources are in phase. Generators must be in phase before they can be safely connected or paralleled to the sink bus. Prior to closing the remaining generator breakers, the respective generator frequency may be adjusted using the frequency control knobs. This adjusts generator speed and puts it in phase with the generator powering the sink bus. With all three engine driven generators supplying power, the generator lights are extinguished and an electrical load is displayed on each KW meter. When the engine driven generators are operating in parallel, electrical loads are automatically balanced by a load controller and generator frequency should not be manually adjusted. The maximum electrical load with all three generators operating in parallel is 102 kW with two generators operating in parallel 54 kW and with any generator operating isolated 36 kW. Now let's try a few normal operation questions.